it's one of the oldest records on, on the books. And then she broke, she broke it in the prelim, and then she broke it again in the final. Jesse hasn't sunk in yet? No, it, it's such a dream weekend, and it's still so surreal. I feel like I'm not really here. This is so crazy to be just following Coach Patino, and it's so unreal. The new Madam Butterfly? That's what they've been calling me. I've never had a nickname before, and <laughs> I could get used to that. <laughs> What's your view on uh, Rio? Um, well, in for NCAA, we swim in a 25-yard pool, and to qualify for the Olympics, you have to qualify in a 50-meter pool. So the trials are in June of 2016, so I have a lot of learning to do to qualify um, long course, but I'm really excited. I get to represent Team USA this summer in Toronto for the Pan American Games, and I can't wait to learn from more experienced swimmers like Natalie Coughlin, who's also on the team, and some other women and uh, other guys. They can hopefully pass their wisdom on to me. Did you go into the season almost expecting? I mean, and do you expect it because you had such a great year last year and had gotten better, or what well, kind of your thoughts going into it? I think every year I'm like, how can I get faster? Like, I, I've just surprised myself every year. And uh, this past summer I had mono, so that was a little setback. But I still ended up making the uh, US team. But uh, I think just getting stronger and building year after year has been huge. Do you know Mary Mark? I don't, unfortunately. She was here last summer but uh, f with a swim camp, but we didn't really get to talk, unfortunately. That mm -hmm. uh, they, I, Rachel Komisars was our coach uh, my freshman and sophomore year, and she was an Olympian in butterfly. So having her expertise passed on to me and having her coaching and along with the other coaches, um, along with our strength coaching, to get so much stronger, that's been so huge compared to where I came in. Because that, that stroke, why is that? Is that a freestyle or mm -hmm. I. I'm not really sure how I stuck with that. In high school, I did win our state championships for New Jersey in the Hunter Butterfly also. So it's just been something I, I really enjoyed. It's one of the most difficult ones. So it's not something I always enjoy training and practice. But I do absolutely love to compete in that. Do fewer swimmers uh, master that stroke than others? Yes, I'd say so. I think freestyle is one of the more popular ones. They have a lot more races in that, or distances in that race. Stroke, so. A lot of reasons. They recruited me, uh, and right away on the campus, I felt like I really loved the team. Uh, I love uh, the um, FCA involvement that our team has. They were doing a Bible study at the time, and my faith is so important to me. And I feel like I've really been able to grow in my faith here, and um, I know God, God had a special purpose for me at Louisville. <laughs> I don't know. I still was. I definitely was not expecting the 200 butterfly, but um, maybe I can improve in my 50 free uh, next year. I ended up third, which wasn't so shabby, but uh, <laughs> still, I I had never placed in the 50 free until this year. I improved a lot in that too, and um, I have to thank my coaches and my teammates too. We had just so much fun this weekend. Overall, we were second in the 200 medley, and we were sixth overall. Tanya had an amazing meet. She was an All-American in six of her seven events also, which is so incredible, and um, I hate that this overlooks that. So. Oh, no. I don't really know what to do with them. They're just going to like sit there. So <laughs> They could be. <laughs> Six, which they never finished higher than 15. So what right. does that mean to you and for the team? Well, at the beginning of the year, we set a goal to be top 10. And I don't think many people really believed in us. It's so crazy for a team to go from 22nd my freshman year to 15th and then to try to set a goal of 10th. And for, right away, we came out swinging. We made it top eight in the 200 free relay and then again in the 400 medley relay and we were just on fire and from there we just kept going we kept the ball rolling and to end up six is still a dream we we felt like we won the meet it was so incredible we celebrated with uh tears and uh we can't it was just so awesome to have accomplished that goal
all together as a group. We look forward to this, uh, this summer. I guess between now and the summer, what is your kind of schedule? We are going to Mesa in a few weeks, and then Charlotte, then maybe a few more meets in June. Those are 50 meter uh, meets, so we can try to gauge where we are heading into uh, next summer with the Olympic trials. And uh, then in July, for my birthday, I'll get to be with Team USA in Toronto for the Pan American Games. And it's only about a seven or eight hour drive from my house, so I'm hoping that my family would be able to go and support me there. Closer to Philly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we practiced on Fort Dix Air Force, Air Force Base, yeah, or Army Base growing up. Anything else for Cal? Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.